All right, everyone, wonderful to see all of you this morning. Thank you all so much for coming out to Book Passage and to this incredible event for kids today and adults, but specifically for kids. Thank you so much, Deborah and Jean, for the gorgeous food, and Susan, you have a real wonderful reception for afterwards. Um, this whole event today, we are so excited here at Book Passage to welcome you all to this special event and to welcome Susan Katz, award-winning author with over 20 years of experience as a talented literacy consultant and beloved elementary educator. All of that wonderful experience helping kids is the inspiration for her latest book, ABC Schools for Me. This book is gorgeously illustrated by best-selling artist Lynn Munziker, and Susan's fun and clever rhymes make exploring the alphabet a delightful adventure for both kids and adults. So please help me warmly welcome Susan Katz. Give me a thumbs up if you know your alphabet. Give me a thumbs up if you know your alphabet. And give your, your other thumb if you know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Very good. We're all good. And then I want you to put on your thinking cap because I'm going to give you clues for every letter. And if you want to come volunteer and you know what it is, you're going to be able to come up here. Okay? So the first thing that. Whoop, I need to use my clicker. <laughs> uh, so we're starting with the letter A, of course. And this is something that starts with A and ends with Z. And I just asked you if you know it. So raise your hand if you think you know what that is. I'm going to need two volunteers. What is it, David? The alphabet. Who would like to come with David and be the, the second person to come on, David? There we go. My twin nephews who turned seven yesterday are going to be our alphabet from A to Z. Pull on one side. David's going to hold the other side. Come on. And we're all going to write A and Z in the, in the, can you hold that right there, sweetie? We're all going to write A and Z in the air, and we're going to say alphabet from A to Z. Ready? Alphabet from A to Z. Good. Thank you guys so much. For the letter B, there's lots of them in here. You read them. They might have chapters. They might have pictures. What do you think they are? Again, let me see if I want to try, Jana. Okay. Who thinks they know what they are? Yeah? Yeah? So I'm going to have you hold this little book because we're saying we're all going to open a book. Books that are just right for me. Ready? Books that, that are just right, right for me. me. Thank you very much. The, the letter C is something that you would color with, but it's not markers and it's not colored pencils. What is it? Crayons. Come on up, Rosie. Thank you. I knew you'd want to volunteer. We have a large crayon. So we're all going to pretend we're using a crayon and we're going to say, Crayons for coloring in my hand. Thank you, Rosie. Awesome. The letter D is a toy that you might play with in the sandbox, and you would fill it with sand, and you would dump out the sand. Oh, Jacob, dump truck, come on up. You're going to have that. Can you hold the whole thing? OK, ready? And we're going to pretend we're dumping things out, so we're going to say, dump trucks playing in the sand. Thank you. You know, for E, there's something that you do at school. You also do this at home. At home, you might have breakfast or dinner. But at school, you do something else. It might be an apple or some carrots or some chips. What do you have at school? Snack. Snack. Come on up. Good. So I'm going to give you, I wouldn't really bite into that because it's not real. <laughs> but we're going to do eating snack around the rug. Ready? Eating snack around the rug. Thank you. And this one, we're going to get everybody involved. So for the letter F, I'm thinking of the people at school that, you're, that you might play with, you might share things with. But there's lots of them in this room for me. Who are, who are they? Your friends. So no one's going to come up here, but we're all going to find somebody to give a hug to. And we're going to say, friends who share a hello hug. Friends who share a hello hug. Yay. Can I hug anybody? I my wife. Fabulous. Look at that, you asked me to give a hug, that's fantastic. So, um, G has two different things. And the first one is something you would use to stick things down, but it doesn't come from a bottle. It comes from, you use it to stick things down on paper. Davey, what is it? Glitter. There's glitter. That's the second thing that's sparkly. You can come hold this up. But what are you using to put that down? Um, glue. Glue sticks. So can you hold the glue stick also? You can come, Jake, if you want. 
And you can hold the glitter, and you can hold your paper for your painting if you want. So we made some pre-advanced glue, glue sticks glitter art. <laughs> so as examples of glue sticks for, so we're all going to say, glue sticks for some glitter art. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> okay, this next one is really fun for H. So sometimes maybe at, um, at free time, you have dress up. You can dress up. And you put these on your head. What might they be? What do you put on your head? What do you put on your head at dress up time? Different things you might put on your head. What do you think? Yeah. We're going to come up again. What would you put on your head? Samantha, you want to come with her? Because I'm going to need two volunteers. And actually three. So before, let's see. Let's get a third volunteer. Tristan, you want to come up? So I need three volunteers. Turn around. So I'm going to give you the clues as to what these three hats are going to be. Okay? The first one is a rootin' tootin' cowboy. cowboy. Very good. There we go. <laughs> Cowgirl, as it were. The next one is <laughs> pull over, please. What is it? Police. A police officer. So you want to put that on, Rosie? <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice. And the last one, if I am very magical and I make the potions and the spells like Harry Potter, I am a wizard. Very good. Tristan, can you put on the wizard hat, please? Very good. Can we get an applause for our dress up hat on here? Thank you. Fantastic. Right over here, because the letter. So, what did we say? <laughs> so, hats hang in the dress up cart. Can we say that? Let's go back for a second. We can go back. Hats hang in the dress up cart. Ready? Hats hang in the dress up cart. So for I, when you're doing dress up and things like that, you need to use your creativity or your imagination. So I need two different volunteers. Kate, would you come up? I would love that. So what it says, what we're going to all say is imagination thinking cap. We're all going to do this for imagination. Imagination thinking cap. I have another thinking cap. Would you like to come up? Can you put it on? Come on up. Oh, very good. Very good. There you go. So let's all. Imagination thinking cap. Very good. Thank you. Okay, you ready? So hold on one second. So in J, something you might do on the playground, you go up and down, you might scream ice cream soda, cherry on top. What would you be doing if you were doing that? What would you be doing? Jump roping. Okay, so we have our pre-advanced, very uh, excited and expert jump ropers here. Go for it. Be careful of the people in the front row. All right. And we're all going to pretend we're jump roping. These are my twin duffies. Here we go. Ready? Jumping rope across the map. Everybody. Jumping rope across the map. Thank you. Can you go back and Okay, so also in free time, you may want to spend some time cooking at free time. What would you be do? Where would you be if you were cooking? In the kitchen. Come on up here. Let's make you a chef. Pull that. Let's put this on you. So you have an apron. That's of course an ABC Schools for Me apron. Turn around so they can all see that. And I have a chef hat for you. And we now have Rosie the chef. Mom and Dad, get the camera ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all going to pretend we're cooking, and we're going to do kitchen during free choice hour. Very good. Thank you so much, Rosie. You're a great chef. Fantastic. So, um, these are something that you build with, and they're wooden. Oops. Um, ooh, clicker too quick. Um, they're wooden, and you might stack them on top of each other. Okay. They could be logs. They have like A, B, C around them. Do you think you know now? Do you think you know? Do you think you know? Blocks. They're blocks. What kind of blocks are they? Letter blocks. Come on up. So we're going to pretend we're building a tower. Here we go. You got that? No. I'll give you this. There we go. Ready? Letter blocks that build a tower. Everybody, letter blocks that build a tower. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And for M, these are two things that when you go like this, they just come together really quickly. They just go boom. What are 
Friday. Madness. Madness. Do you guys want to come too? We can have many people because I have many magnets. Take some magnets. <coughs> we're all going to pretend we're holding a magnet, and we're going to go magnets to be traced in pen. Ready? Magnets to be traced in pen. Very good. Can you put the magnets in the bag? Thank you very much. And you guys stay up here because I'm going to need a bunch of kid volunteers for the next one. Stay right up here. If you would, please. I need a lot of kids. So, this is something we need for math, and we need it to count. And it begins with N. We need it for math. We need it to count. What is it? Number. Number. So let's say I think we have we're gonna need ten children up here. We're gonna need ten children. So I'm gonna Jacob hold that. Okay. You can be four you send next to Jacob. Let's see if you can put yourself in order. You're not your brother. Give him a number. Let's see if your sister wants to come. That would be great. <laughs> can I have a Jana or a Bella? That would be fantastic. And let's see if you guys can put yourselves in order here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Watch out, sweetie. Watch this. Let's see how long it takes. Jake, David, you go to the end. Do you have a number, Kate? Jake, you're the other end. <laughs> this is good. I need one more shot. I'm going to help in a second. Thank you, John. Jacob, do you have one? You have one, Samantha. Stand over here. Here we go. One, two, who's three? Jacob, who's down? Three. Who's four? Four. Who's five? Stand next to Jacob. Who's five? There we go. Six. Seven. Where's seven? Good. Come on, Brad. Come over here to eight. Brad, come over here. There we go. Look at that. Ready? Numbers I can count to ten. Fantastic. All right, you guys can leave the numbers in the back. Thank you very much. That took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's all good. I was going to pass the money. So that's okay. Good. Good. Okay. So I got to the letter O as an author, and I thought, this is kind of a hard letter. What should I do for this letter? Hmm. And then I thought, if I say yes, you say no. no. If I say stop, you say go. No. What are those called? What are those called? One of my former students who's in, out of college can answer this if they want. I have former students. Who are those called? Opposites. You want to come up? I need two people. Jacob, do you also want to come up? So these are opposites. Is she coming up? We got a child coming up. No? No. David, are you going to join us? Go ahead. Put it over your head. Over your head, Jacob. Oh, yeah. Boom. There we go. Come over here so everybody can see. So we're all going to shake our heads, but they are opposites, right? Opposites like yes and no. What's opposite about them? What can tell me what's opposite about them? Yeah, Rosie. One has weight. <coughs> That's right. They're opposite. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Can you take those? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Need a haircut now? Oh, yeah. Yes. We have two things for P. So the first one is a bag that you might decorate and then put your hand inside. What is that? It's a bag. You might decorate it and then go like this with it. What is it? A paper puppet. Come on up. Yes, I know you guys. Come on up. You guys can hold those and I'm going to have to hold the other thing. This is yours. This is yours. Again, advanced, uh, advanced puppets. So, and the other thing is something sticky and ooey and gooey but fun to play with. So we're all going to say paper puppets and play-doh. Paper, puppets, and Play-Doh. Awesome. Thank you very much. <coughs> Q was another hard letter, but I thought about this game that you might play. Um, maybe on the yard, and you sit in a circle, and then everyone taps their head and runs around. What is that game? Duck, duck, goose. So I don't have anything for this, but we're all going to pretend we're doing this. We're going to go... Quacks while tapping, duck, duck, goose. Quacks while tapping, duck, duck, goose. Very good. 
And sometimes there are these class pets. And this particular class pet has long ears, big teeth, and it might um, eat lettuce or carrots. What do you think it is? Rats? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. It is not a rat. Samantha, what do you think it is? A rabbit. And this particular rabbit is really fun. So let's see if you can go like this. It will actually, if we had it on the, you can put it on the ground if you want. I don't know if people can see. It actually moves and it makes noise and does all the rabbity kind of things. So we're all going to do the rabbit ears and rabbit's cage is coming loose. Good. Rabbit's cage is coming loose. Thank you, Um. This is something that we cut with. We cut with these. Yeah. Scissors, come on up. Giant scissors. Turn it on. Okay. Ready? We're all going to pretend we're cutting. Scissors scraps upon the floor. Thank you. All right. In this book, if you can see the book, they made all the characters look like bears. The illustrator decided to make them look like bears. This is a particular person who's usually in charge of your class. I was one of these for 20 years. Raise your hand if you were also one of these. If you think you know what it is, and raise your hand if you were also one of these. I have a lot of them in the room. Yes, I have a lot of friends in the room who were this with me. So what do you think the person in charge of your class is? The teacher. I need two students. Because I'm going to become the bear teacher. And I need two bear students. Uh, Camille and Rosie, come on up. Put this on. We have another little one coming. We will, we will find something for you to do. Very good. So, and I, as I'm, I'm no, I'm not struggling. I'm just <laughs> doing it differently than I've done before. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do teacher finger. Teacher waiting by the door. Very good. Thank you both. So much. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm going to take, keep it on for a while because people want to take pictures. So I will spit in this while you keep it on. <laughs> while you take pictures. Okay. Some schools have a downstairs and then upstairs. So we have, we could all do that with our fingers. We have three created, thank you to the twin nephews, upstairs for the Legos. Ready? Am I doing it? Upstairs for our read aloud. Upstairs for our read aloud. Fantastic. This one is going to get a lot of laughs. When you were little, am I losing my mic? Nope. When you were little, yep. Um, you learned how to go to the bathroom on this thing, and you called it. Out, you were really proud when you went to the. What would you call that? Potty. Potty. So come on up. I'm just gonna have you hold this, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and we can just look proud. Visit to, to the potty, proud. Very good. Good job, Rosie. <laughs> and this is another one we're going to all do together. When you're hot and thirsty after recess and you have to wait in this long line to get something to drink, where are you waiting? Where are you waiting at that point, Jacob? Water fountain. You're waiting at the water. So let's all push the button and pretend like we're drinking and we're going to say, Water fountain, wait in line. Very good. X was a hard letter too, but then I thought there's this instrument that you play with mallets. And come on up, who's practiced beforehand? What is the instrument? <laughs> a xylophone. A xylophone. So we'll pretend we're playing. Jacob's gonna actually play for us. Ready? Xylophones at music time. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. For why, I thought of the color that is this big thing that lots of kids take to and from school. What is it? Yellow. It's yellow, and it's a yellow what? You take it, it has wheels, and you take it to and from school. Some people do, some people walk or drive. Yeah. Yellow school, yellow school bus, very good. Um. Come on up. So, yellow school bus. So we're gonna put on our coats, because it says coats on racks. Yellow 
school bus coats on racks. Good. And then the last one, thank you, Kate. The last one, at the end of, oops, at the end of the day, you put everything in this and then you go, <coughs> where do you put things in, Samantha? <coughs> a backpack, come on up. I have a bare backpack, appropriately enough. And we're gonna all pretend we're zipping, ready? Zipping, zipping up, up our, our big backpacks. backpacks. Good, zipping up our big backpacks. The last two lines say, thank you, sweetie. Learning ABCs is clever. We'll remember them forever. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you all for that. So I want to ask you to turn to a partner and think of something else you might love about school that wasn't in the letters of my, my book. I'm sure there are other things. So turn to somebody and think about what else do you love about school and I'll ask for a couple people to tell me the letter and what do you love about school. Oh, what do you learn about school? What do you learn about school? Rizzy. Rizzy, you tell me? We're, we're supposed to talk about it and then she's going to call on people. And then you tell her what letter it starts with. What do I love about school? Okay, um, so tell me, Rosie, what do you love about school? What letters does it start with and what is it? It starts with an R. What is it? Art. Art. Art's with an A, but it does sound like it starts with an R. Fantastic. My mom was an art teacher for many years. What do you love about school? That's good. P-E and play with the P. P and play, yes. F for four square. F for four square. Do you want to come show us really quickly how you play four square carefully? Again? Just quickly. Bounce quick. There we go. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Never lose. How about, Kate, do you have one that you thought of? H, H for hula hooping. Come on up. Kate is another plant in the audience. <laughs> and she's going to show us her hula hooping. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, watch out. Yeah, maybe. I'll be over here. Yeah. We'll switch sides. That's good. Nice. to sing it uh, all together and here's the book with the illustrations and everything. So we're going to sing it. <laughs> Alphabet from A to Z was like this, just to remind you, we're going to start from the beginning. Music time. What's 
corner, yellow school bus coats on racks, zipping up our big backpacks, learning ABCs with clever, we'll remember them forever. And for Jeannie and Deborah who helped me set up, and my family brought stuff, my parents are from Florida, the cousin surprised me and flew in from Chicago, and I was completely <laughs> shocked before this. Thank you all for coming. Um, I do want to say that it's been three years since I published a book. This is the first time in three years, but in January I have another book coming out with Scholastic. And I will show you that when it's called All Year Round. It's about shapes and months. And so we won't have to wait three years to get together again. Like this. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys can make it. It'll be in January. So if there are any questions, I'm happy to take questions. Otherwise, I'm going to just sign. And I just, you guys, there's a whole spread. Please eat and drink. The only other thing I want to say, because a lot of you have kids in school, is starting in the fall, because this is a school book, um, school themed book. I'm going to be doing a video contest on the internet for schools to tell how, why their school is the coolest, right? And the winning school will win a free visit for me to come and present. So, um, like, ABC, Ely Schools for me, that was my elementary school. Um, and then you can put that video up. So thank you all so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be here to sign books. Do you want to?